Welcome back to a Brave Faith TV. It's your man Suka Ben McAbee's. Listen, we got a reaction video. We have never seen this video. We don't even know what we're about to look at. I have no clue. Listen, y'all about to see it just like me. We gonna react. Let's get into it, man. I don't know what it is. There's a scandal over at Netflix. Actually, they've somehow pissed off an entire country. Egypt is upset with uh, Netflix. They're being accused of blackwashing. And that's really exciting because we never hear about blackwashing, even though it's happening a lot now. You know, we hear about whitewashing, which is essentially you take something that belongs to black people or is about black people and you give it the white treatment. Well, blackwashing is essentially the same thing where you're blackifying everything. So an example of blackwashing would be the new Disney movie that we discussed, The Little Mermaid, where we obviously assumed because Ariel had red hair and white skin that they would cast a person with white skin. But they didn't. They blackwashed it, so to speak, and they casted someone with black skin. She has a very good voice, by the way. Nothing against her. Hallie, I think is her name. Uh, so Netflix is now being accused of doing the exact same thing because there is a new Jada Pinkett Smith docu-series, Queen Cleopatra. And what they've done is they have cast a black British actress as the Macedonian Greek ruler. Now, I want to say off the bat, you can go back and you can hear me say this, is I'm actually okay with actors acting. I don't think that in order to be a person that is, uh, you know, playing somebody that is Italian in the movie that you absolutely must be Italian. I mean, that's actually people that have the best acting chops can convince you otherwise where you go, oh my God, I didn't even realize that this person who has a perfect American accent in this movie is actually not American at all. He's from the UK. I'm always like very surprised by that, the ability of Brits to pull off American accents and Americans to pull off British accents and things of that nature. So I'm not explicitly, explicitly annoyed by the fact that she cast a uh, English actress that is black Adele James. What's, pro what's problematic is that she's actually trying to pretend in real life, right? So forget what she's creating. Jada is as asserting that this was, in fact, a black queen. True. That Cleopatra, who was obviously a real ruler, was, in fact, black. True. The trailer released last week features claims that Cleopatra was black with curly hair. And they even have one historian that asserts in the preview. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school. Cleopatra was black. So that is where Egyptians are really upset with. Now, the problem for me, it's not about color. It's not about white and black. This is a very reductive way to talk about things. This is the way that Americans talk about it. I'm very sorry. Like, I come from Egypt. Egypt has a very diverse color palette. People can look like me or they can look deeper skin tone like Anwar Sadat, who comes from a Nubian origin. It's not about black and white. It's about the continuous culture falsi uh, appropriation and falsification of history that has been done by what the so-called Afrocentrist movement. The Afrocentric movement started the last century as a way in a good intention to teach African American about their rich history of West Africa, the great empire of Benin, of Ghana, um, of uh, Songali, uh, the great empire of Mali. But the thing is, that's why you find people like Kevin Hart, who subscribes to these theories, who claim that his ancestors play, uh, build the pyramids. I'm sorry, your ancestors had their own wonderful civilization in West Africa. They are culture appropriating my culture, calling the people of in Egypt of today, despite their skin tone, that we, they call us as invaders, they, we call, okay, they call me, us as right. intruders, and, and, and they are being erased by, from our own history. You Look at you. You mad. They're, they're basically reacting with horror. They're saying you are just completely denying the records which show that she was, in fact, Macedonian Greek. And there is even, this has even gone so far as having an Egyptian lawyer who has filed a case with the country's public prosecutor demanding that Netflix be shut down. They are not taking this lightly. They are like, no, not our queen. This is not a work of fiction. This is a documentary. This is a documentary. This is a huge difference. This is not the Little Mermaid, which is like a fictional character where you can anybody can play anything. The, uh, uh, Cleopatra came from a Macedonian Greek origin, and the thing is, it's not about like the skin color. As I don't, we don't care about if they're black or white. It's about it's about how Hollywood is so culturally sensitive, and they're so sensitive about all kind of of minorities. But when it comes to my people, we seem to be erased. It's a documentary. 
Hollywood has been erasing my people from telling, we have, are not allowed to tell our own history. And I'm sorry, I have to disagree with the gentleman. It's not about, it's, it, every, it's not just Cleopatra. Everybody in that movie, her court, everybody who's supposed to be Egyptian, they look like they came from West Africa, from the south of the Sahara. We, as Egyptians, are being called intruders and invaders in our own culture. This has been going on systematically. I don't want to wake up one day and find the museum of the African-American culture and history claiming the stolen Egyptian artifacts in the in the British Museum to be theirs. You big man. <laughs> Keep your weird race antics within the confines of America. The rest of us want to deal in reality. <laughs> I'm oh, wow. out. They, they forgot the Netflix. Hey, right. yeah. right. Right. <laughs> Let wow. me say, hey, the Grecians are looking real hypocritical right now because if we look at the Maccabees, I think it's first Maccabees 3 and 48, yes, where they sir. sought to change the images. Yes, sir, and man. Look who those images. Come on, man. We, no, listen, in, the, in the book. Come on, Egypt, let me tell you something. We know that you are the modern, the modern Arabs of descent right now. Y'all come from Turkey. Yes. We know y'all the Turks. Yes. We know this. Yes. We know this. Then listen. The Jewish historians even know y'all. Y'all are the modern Turks, man. All y'all attend the Ashkenazis extend from the Turkish nation. We know this, man. Stop, stop playing like y'all. Y'all just y'all been there all that time. Y'all didn't cut the noses off of everything. Y'all nice. didn't y'all probably erase the images. You didn't shut down parts of the pyramids that only paint black folks. Y'all don't look nothing like none of the images in Egypt. Stop that foolishness, man. Ain't no man. She, Come on, man. She was a queen of Alexandria. Alexandria was in Egypt, if I'm correct on my, you know, history and geography, but Alexandria was in Egypt and she was a queen over Egypt and most of the Egyptian queens, I guess, except for Cleopatra, had this <laughs> color skin. Probably like Suka's complexion. Like, <laughs> blackity black. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what I'm black, saying? I'm like black. <laughs> so, all the other ones could be black, but Cleopatra, no, no, no. not Cleopatra. Not she Cleopatra. Got I put it like oh, this. I, I because they, they've done all the movies where she was white. Right. I must say, I put it like this. Okay, y'all can have Cleopatra. Give us Noah, give us Moses, give us <laughs> give us the apostles, give us all of them back. I, give yeah, us our people, our real people. Yeah, Come give on. us Samson. Come on. Can we have Samson back? Can yeah, come on, man. Y'all can keep that. We need to talk about your house shot. I did. I said, give us your house shot back. Yeah, too. come on. Black G and not the black Jesus that's running around um uh, LA. You do realize I died for your <laughs> sins, right? Oh, that <laughs> getting old. <laughs> like <laughs> when they finally give us black Jesus, black Jesus in the hood shooting dice. Come on, man. Hey, listen, <laughs> y'all Judah, y'all, I'm gonna tell you by your name. Y'all Judah, man. You need to stop that foolishness, man. Yeah, you don't even know the word, bro. You don't even know the word. And the rule I can't with you stop that foolishness. You leading our people astray. Yeah, you're, you're foolish. We you black and you the wrong dude. You ain't the must, you ain't the Mashiach boy. Get up out of here. Now, they, go ahead. I'll tell you this. I understand historically they want to claim that she's white. She's a hamite. So let them take that hamite and make that hamite white. Yeah. Can we have Miriam? Yeah. Can we have Sarah? Yeah. Can we have, you know, Rebecca? Yeah. <laughs> all, all of our, all, all yeah, our Leah, Rachel. Rachel. Yeah. The, the, the ones that's actually in our, our history book that mm -hmm. they call a Bible, that's our history book, mm -hmm. make them the right color. Right. Y'all can keep the rest of them. Keep the rest of them. I saw, I saw, I was listening to um, um, uh, uh, YouTube today where there was a debate going on with some brothers, and some brothers scoffed at the notion that Paul, who was mistaken for an Egyptian, he said, aren't you that Egyptian? You know, little dog. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Right? They, they they scoffed at the notion that he was considered to be a black man. They couldn't believe it. I'm like, but you're comedic brothers. Like, yeah, the tectonic plates. You're going to ignore all of that? Man, it, come on, man. Well, you're the thing Egyptian. is, because you look at the Egyptians now, the Egyptians now, like my brother said, are the Turkish people, and they don't resemble us. Right. They've been swirled enough to look something. Hey, no, 
the eighties. Crazy. Come on, man, come on. Put the, let's go down to them, them. Let's go to them pyramids, man, and them paint they put on them walls, man. They mm -hmm. look like me. Right. Like, they look, look like me, and they got hair. <laughs> when I had hair, they look like me. When I had hair, <laughs> right. Well, you think about it like this: if Moses was raised by Pharaoh as one of his own, and Moses was black. That means Pharaoh had to be black. We just want Moses back. I mean, oh, like, man. I mean, I did, I, I'm just saying. And yeah. if Pharaoh was black, that means Pharaoh being an Egyptian, mm -hmm. Cleopatra would be black also. God, I, I'm just moving down the line. You Solomon know, said, the line. "Daughters of Jerusalem, I'm dark as the tents of Kedar. Kedar. Yes. I'm calmly. He said, "I'm calmly." That's what he said. Meaning handsome. Yeah. And I'm dark as the tents of Kadar. Yeah. The right. tents of Kadar are the blackest black. Dark. Because it repels the sun. Yeah. He said the tents. Telling you in a sense, I can walk in the daylight. Yeah. I'm not going to get skin cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which in right now, what you see the Ashkenazis experiencing at a high rate in Jerusalem, in the so in Jerusalem. That part. Your skin right there <laughs> burning up. We don't mm -hmm. have that problem because y'all made us for that. Mm. Remember, Solomon said, I'm old daughters of Jerusalem. I'm calmly, I'm handsome. Mm -hmm. Suka's handsome. Mm -hmm. And I'm dark as a tense of Kadar. Mm 